Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Explosion35 here with another video for you guys. Yes, and today I'm going to be reviewing First Appearance Marvel Universe Wolverine. Really, really nice figure. Start off with the packaging really, really quick. Uh, turn around to the back. It says, with the Hulk rampaging across the territories, the Can Canadian government sends in their ultimate weapon. Where the entire might of the U.S. military has failed, it is hoped that the man known only as Wolverine can succeed. The Hulk may be bigger and stronger, but for the first time, he is outmatched in sheer savagery as the clawed hero fights him nearly to a standstill. Dun dun dun, with a nice picture of Wolverine up at the top. Cap. U.S. soldier or whatever uh, is telling us collect them all. Each sold separately. Um, so put the packaging away and take a look at Wolverine. Sorry, the lighting may be a little extreme. Let me see. Did that fix it? Maybe this lighting. Yeah, the lighting. The lighting's extreme here. Sorry, um, but um. As we can, we can take a look at Wolverine. Really, really nice figure. Um, we take a look at the first appearance of him. Real nice, um, kind of, uh, it has like this shading of like a darker yellow. And to me, what it looks like is when you buy the macaroni and cheese packs, you put the macaroni and cheese, or the regular macaroni, and then you put the cheese over it, and some of it doesn't always, like, melt together. You get, like, this real crusty kind of look right around in here and in his legs. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this figure is really, really nice. Um, articulation is okay. Um, of course, it call, comes with, um... The Marvel Universe stands as Wolverine number eight. Um, but this figure, I just can't get over how awesome it is. And if we want to start off with articulation, um, head doesn't really go up and down, so you can't get him in like that, like charging pose where he's got his head up. Like I can't seem to even take his head off. But it doesn't. That's all it moves. But it moves side to side. If I just put in some hot water. Or the, and in the freezer or something, it would work. But um, sorry guys, I'm scratching my eye. My eye hurts. Um, the arms go up that high. So yeah, rotate 360s, but at one point at the elbow, which is a little lacky because that's all it can do. So it can't do any like shh poses, but that's okay. Hands rotate both, but this is a trigger hand, so they must have reused this body somehow, or this hand and gave him a trigger trigger hand. So, yeah, um, diaphragm joint, rock and rock back and forth, up and down. It's not very, this figure's not very loose, which is a good thing. Um, the legs, the ball joint to go out, then that way, which on this figure, it doesn't bother me as much as it did with the three and three quarter inch Spider-Mans, but all it does is go up about this much, and then out, and then down, and you can turn it back. So, yeah. Um, bends at two points at the knees, which is cool. And the foot goes down that much. And side to side, no ankle pivot or anything. Which is a little hard for this guy because you need an ankle pivot. Like, you know, to get him in, like, the, the charging pose. And he's got his legs far apart and he's like, shoo. Um, but, and the other problem, I, I have a gripe with this figure... And it's that I just can't seem to get his arms down. This is as far down as his arms will go. Which, whatever. I'm not really going to have his arms like this. His arms also have some really nice paint detailing. Really, really nice. Um, Nice blue, nice yellow, nice black. Face is really nice. Focus. Why not focus? Dang it. Why not focus? There we go see the black ears and stuff are blending in um his claws are very nice very very nice claws they're like there are they are one piece and you can see like where they come out but they're black they're painted black in between the silver which is a really really good thing if you know what I mean so you know you can't really even tell 
Um. So yeah, that's this on this guy. Um. You get him into some really cool poses, like even though his articulation is a little wacky. Sometimes I can get him into the pose. Sometimes I can't. Let me just try to get him into the pose. Come on, let me get in the... Alright, whatever, I'll just use a stand. Come on. There, we got him into a pose. Now we're bringing Hulk. Like the first, um, first appearance. They're having a face-off. Yeah. Put this guy back. And, um, if we want to go with the size comparison for this guy... Do, 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 do. Ugh. Just stand him up. Stand. 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 There we go. Alright, we'll put him next to um, Iron Man, which is three and three quarter inches. Um, Iron Man. And guess what the good part about this is? Wolverine is shorter, which is so comic book accurate. This isn't Marvel Universe, but whatever. Um, here's another three and three quarter inch figure. If I had a ruler, I'd go get it right now, but so I can measure him. There's Cap, which is taller too. So I'm gonna go see really quick if I can get a video. Don't mind me. No, no ruler. Sorry. I should have one with me. Um, but no ruler. But this figure is really, really nice. Really nice. I'd give this figure... Out of ten, I think I'd give him... A nine. A nine. I think it deserves a nine. But really, really nice. All the paint work. Oh, well, yellow right there, but that's okay. Um, yeah, really, really nice figure. Can't wait to get more. It's really amazing. And um, I will be um doing this. I will be doing like an ACB thi ACBA thing or whatever. I'm not too familiar with that. But try to see if I can recreate the first um, Wolverine appearance in the Hulk with the Hulk. With this Marvel Universe guy. And see how well I can get it. But as of right now, that's a wrap.